Welcome back to my channel. Today I am making this delicious barbecue chicken pizza. So let's get to the first step. This is the crust I'm going to be using. This pizza crust costs one dollar and the only thing you have to add is hot water. So I'm going to put that into a bowl and I'm going to add in my half a cup of hot water and I'm going to combine it and stir it until I get a ball of dough. Once the dough is combined, you have to let it set for five minutes covered, and this is the end result. Now I'm going to move on to cutting my veggies. I have a half of every color bell pepper here, as well as a tablespoon of minced garlic. Now, while I was cutting my veggies and making my dough, I broiled my chicken on high for 15 minutes, and now I'm just going to chop that into small pieces just like my veggies. And all of this is going on top of that nice dough that we made so in a bowl i'm going to combine everything together and here i also have about seven ounces of diced tomatoes this is half of a 14.5 ounce can i'm just going to combine all of this into a bowl and get ready to put it on top of my crust okay Now, with flour on my hands so the dough won't stick, I'm going to add it to a greased pizza pan. And I'm just going to spread this out as evenly as possible, but not too much. You have to be careful because the dough will tear. So just take your time, press it out nice and gently. Now that my dough is nice and pressed out, I'm going to add my barbecue sauce. And I'm using sweet brown sugar barbecue sauce because it's amazing. I love this barbecue sauce. So I'm just going to spread that out and keep adding a little bit more, but not too much because you don't want to have the barbecue sauce overpowering everything. So I'm going to spread that out. Then I'm going to put down a little shredded mozzarella cheese. And then I'm going to add all my nice chopped up chicken and my veggies. After I've added my chicken and my veggies, I'm going to finish it off with more shredded mozzarella cheese and a sprinkle of Italian seasoning. Once I'm done putting all my ingredients together, I'm going to slide this pizza in the oven and let it cook on 425 degrees for 20 minutes. And it's going to look nice and beautiful and delicious like this. And just to finish it off, I'm going to drizzle a little bit more barbecue sauce on top. And then I'm going to sprinkle some crushed red pepper and some dry parsley. And here is the pizza all cut up, looking ready to eat. I hope you give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.